All right, so I'm gonna be making a mug with one pound, seven ounces of clay. After it's fired, it should hold about 15 ounces of liquid. Using my main two local clays that I dig. So I'll start the centering. This process is also helping those two clays get combined a little bit and merge together. Otherwise I'll get cracking where the gray clay meets the yellow clay. I'll open it up with my thumb helping to support. As I bring this in and up, I like to turn my hand upside down and have my thumb underneath this lip, pushing in and then bringing up and towards the middle. And here at the top, I'll sort of compress that into place. Here I've got a a bit of clay to move up and in down at the bottom so I use my knuckle and slow the wheel down some. So again pushing in, pushing out slightly with my inside hand and bringing all that clay up. Make sure that it's nice and slippery. And here I'll switch back to my thumb. I just feel like I have better control with that. Pushing out with my inside hand and then following it up with my thumb just below that. Here I'll go ahead and trim off the skirt on the outside and to save myself some time with trimming later I like to go ahead and start creating my rounded shape with a little bit of an undercut. So from here I'm going to shape the bottom. I want it to be kind of rounded at the bottom, like a little bit of an hourglass shape. So I've got my rib curved. I'll push out against that. And then using the rib to push in, create the shape. Slightly turning it to bring out the lip. So I'd like to have a little bit more shape to the outside at the bottom. So I'll come back in and push that out again. Try not to push out any higher than the rib is. I have a nice smooth curve right there going from that section that's pushed out to coming back in and then up to the lip.
<clears throat> Alright, so most people don't scrape the slip out of the inside. It is sort of naturally creating a smooth surface to an extent. Uh, but I've got this marbling that goes up into the very maybe top third or so of the mug. And I want that to show. So just kind of lightly removing that slip without doing a whole lot of shaping. Rotating it up, bringing it back down. So I still want the slip to be nice and smooth. As people are going to be putting their lips there. So you use this little cloth, sort of wrap it around that really not any pressure to it but it does sort of even out the slip and allows me to give it the final little bit of shape so that it does curve out for a comfortable feel and just kind of sponge out the water in the bottom done. I'll uh, wire it off here in a second just to show you the profile of the mug. And you've got this marbling up here at the top. Not sure if you can see that. It's pretty happy with that. Go ahead and wire it off. Call it done. At least until it needs a handle.